But I also want to um, go here with the dope discussion, okay? And talk about the other side of that to where you have, um, let's say, older women within the sisterhood that are realizing these things, that, that are realizing now, you know, that, hey, my female nature is telling me that I need to be serving a man. My female nature is telling me that I need to be loving a man under the leadership of a man. Well, well, the unfortunate part about that is, and I do not mean to say this, um, to be disheartening or mean or callous, nothing of that sort. I say this to be used as a cautionary tale. Unfortunately, a lot of you, oh Lord have mercy, a lot of you seasoned women that are looking to disconnect, if you will, from the sisterhood, um, you have too much seasoning on you, if you know what I mean, right? And so the taste can be a little bit too salty for a man to where it's like, ugh, I feel like it already has its own seasoning and its own flavor and I can't add on to it. And so I would rather get with, I don't know, a spring chicken that is not so damn seasoned to where I can add my own flavors to it and get it just how I like it. Versus having to rinse seasoning off and then reseason the shit and then add seasoning out. Like I would rather just start from, you know, uh, a pretty much clean canvas of chicken. Are, are y'all following me? I know I'm silly, but just follow me, okay? Y'all laughing, I'm so serious. And so that could be an issue for you guys. And again... I use this as a cautionary tale. I'm not saying that um, it won't happen for I'm not saying that it's too late. But sometimes it is. But my whole point in bringing that up is for the younger women out there to not waste so much fucking time thinking that, oh, I can, I can do this. I can go against... My very nature, I can go against men. I can go against everything that makes a woman a woman. And then want to snap out of that down the line when it's too much to unravel, to unpack, to undo, to unlearn. I don't want you guys to keep making the same mistakes that she did. Because although it's like all glory to the sister for waking the fuck up and realizing this is wrong and this ain't going to work and it hasn't worked. All glory to her. But she has tremendously dwindled down her options. Because to a lot of the men that she would want to be a part of her life, they are not checking for her. And that is the rude reality that a lot of us have to fucking face. And aren't we tired of facing that? Aren't we tired of saying, damn, now I'm 47 and I get it now and I'm ready to learn all of this. But by that time, sis, Unless you're hitting on a Holly Berry. 
unless you hitting on a Angela Bassett, unless you hitting on one of them old fine ass women's, unless you hitting on a motherfucker making good, like it just probably ain't gone. It ain't gonna give what you wanted to give, sis. It's not. And can I be honest and say this? And again, I'm not trying to be real. I'm trying to be real. It's the only way we can learn. I know that y'all don't like me, but the truth is the truth. By that time, a lot of us have already wasted so much of our time, our money, our youth, our beauty. Like so much, so much has been lost to where it's like you're not even remotely close to what a, a man that you would want, need, desire is looking for. We may have, we may be out of shape by that time. We may have, you know, a bunch of debt, a bunch of kids, a bunch of, a bunch of drama, a bu like a lot of stuff attached to us by that time to where it's like, yeah, she's a cool chick, but hell no. And the sisterhood is at fault. And I am so glad that uh, the sisterhood is falling apart. And again, it's not gonna happen overnight, but I'm I, I'm glad to see it though. I am glad to see it. <laughs> but like, I, I'm tired of seeing the same thing happen over and over. And it's the sisterhood's fault for telling us we don't have to do X, Y, and Z. We don't need to do X, Y, and Z. We don't have to be X, Y, and Z until nature. Until you stop trying to muffle and drown out what your intuitive nature is telling you. Which is, this is not right. This is a coping mechanism. I don't believe this. I don't feel what I'm saying is true. As a matter of fact, my reality reflects it. I want the women that are a part of the quote-unquote sisterhood. I want y'all to ask yourselves, why is it that when we are in our quote unquote sisterhood circles, in our sisterhood groups, why is it primarily focused and based around men? That is a good motherfucking question. Sisters, if you are a part of the sisterhood circle, baby, I want you to ask yourself, why is every conversation, every motivation, every inspiration, every sentiment, everything, why is everything so solely focused and based around men and what men are not doing and what men are doing and what men should be doing and what men we are dealing with and what men we are not dealing with. And everything is very much so male focused. Amen. I want you to ask yourselves why. If we're supposed to be in this sisterhood circle of we're women and hear us roar and we're strong and we're powerful and we don't need these men. We can build it on our own. We can do it for ourselves. Why aren't y'all always talking about that shit? I hardly ever, can I be real? Baby. Within these sisterhood circles and groups, y'all, I hardly ever hear y'all talking about how you can improve yourself as a woman outside of a man. Everything is male focused, yet I'm male identified, bitch. Everything is how you can level up outside of a man. Why, why is the man even being mentioned? 
You guys should only be focusing on women. If it's really about women's empowerment with the whole sisterhood circle, it should only be about how we as women can strategize and uh, and do what we need to do as women. We don't have to constantly bring up because men ain't shit and men ain't doing this and men need to do this. And the reason why, because I was with a man who was like this. Bitch, why are we even talking about the men if the women are so much more powerful, relevant, important? Why are we talking about peasants? I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you, baby. The reason why that the sisterhood is always focused on men is because your nature. You cannot escape it. Even when we're trying to be empowered as women it always goes back to the man have you ever peeped that game have you ever peeped that game that's very telling even when you try to escape your nature as a woman it doesn't let you really think about it all of the all of the discussions all of the focus all the conversation it is derived around men not about what you guys need to be doing as women. It's all male-based and focused. That in and of itself should be alarming for you. Damn, all we do in the sisterhood is bash men all day and talk about how men ain't shit and how, damn, what the fuck? Where's the empowerment? Where's the uplifting? What's the... It's letting you know that you can't even operate outside the man when you want to. So, how about we stop trying to go against nature? And again, a lot of y'all, I ain't going to say a lot, but it's happening, baby. I'm so happy. Some of y'all are waking up to that. And you're realizing, damn. Bitch, my life is male-identified. My very existence is male identified. Whoopsie. Get over here. Take that, take that. Y'all can be in denial all y'all want to, but nature ain't gonna lie to you. It's gonna tap you on the motherfucking forehead every time, like, oop, hey, bitch. Hey. Get over here. Yeah, it's going to tell you, get your ass up over here because you tripping. You out of bounds. 